Hello there, I'm Femi OK, and I have three questions that I have to answer. The first one, thank you for asking me these questions, by the way. The first one was, what informed my choice as a journalist? This is so easy because when I was a little kid, I was seven years old, and I would go on a trip on Fridays. All of my family would go swimming on a Friday afternoon, and then we'd come back on Friday evening, and the family would sit around the dinner table, and we would eat rice and chicken and red stew and peas. That would be our Friday tradition. And I would collect, as we were cooking dinner and cooking the rice, I would collect everybody's stories from my family, all of their news stories, and I would write them down and then do a news bulletin. So every Friday night over rice, chicken and peas and red stew, I would do a news bulletin and put together the news for my family. And then when I was 14 years old, I spent a lot of time listening to the radio. I was really such a big radio fan. When I was 14 years old, I started working for my London radio station. So I would go out and do stories. And I was reporting from when I was 14 years old. I was doing family stuff when I was really young, reporting when I was 14 years old. So when I went to university, a few years later, I'd already been working at a radio station and I worked at a radio station and I worked for the BBC while I was at university. And when I finished university, I went to work straight at the BBC as a radio researcher and a radio reporter. So really, you can say from when I was seven years old and then when I was 14, I was already working in journalism. So I knew from when I was a really little kid exactly what I was going to do. There was not an awful lot of thought process going. I was really interested in people. I love going out to do stories. I had a lot of fun. And it was just a really fascinating, stimulating career that I really, um, I've been doing for decades now, for decades, and it's been a lot of fun and taught me a lot about the world. The second question was about what has been my biggest year. I have done so many amazing things. I have covered the Liberian elections, uh, and that was the election, the very important election, where Ellen Johnson Sirleaf became the first African female head of state. Pretty amazing. I have covered Olympics. I'm an Olympics nut, so I love to do that. Travelled all over Africa. Done stories in Nigeria, which is always really fun, because it's, like, it's coming home, which is wonderful. So I've done a lot of things, but I thought about this very carefully. My biggest year was really involved in a career decision. So 14 years ago, I saw an advert for CNN who was looking for anchors. And it was a big four page ad, ad and it said CNN looking for world weather anchors. And I thought, well, I have been a meteorologist. I know a lot of meteorology. I know how to do good weather stories. And I was working weather at the time as well as being a journalist. So I applied. So I was sitting at home one evening and the phone rang and the gentleman rang, uh, spoke to me, he said, hello, is that Femi okay? And I said, yes. And they said, uh, this is CNN, we would like you to come for an interview. I was in the UK at the time, so that meant they had to fly me from the UK to Atlanta, Georgia, which is where the headquarters of CNN happens to be. And I have to say, I was absolutely terrified. You know that phrase, be careful what you wish for? <laughs> that was me. I kept on putting them off. They asked me to set a date. I kept on moving the date back because I was basically scared. And I was trying to study the Atlas. I thought, how can I work for CNN and not know every single place in the whole world? So I was trying to study the Atlas. And eventually they said, Femi, you have to come to Atlanta to do this interview. Flew to Atlanta. They put me up in the hotel, which is the Omni Hotel, which is right by CNN. I had an interview that lasts an entire day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So several interviews with the vice presidents, several members of staff, all just observing me, seeing how I related to people. I had to do a couple of auditions. They put them on tape. So I finished this entire day, which was exhausting for an interview. They called me up the next morning and said, you've got the job. Why are you moving to America? That was 14 years ago. I've done amazing things. I've worked for the BBC. I've worked for a lot of international companies. But that one job back in 1999, that got my international career started. That was probably my biggest professional year because if I hadn't joined the CNN family, I wouldn't have moved to America. I wouldn't have traveled around the world. I wouldn't be working at Al Jazeera right now. So it's all down to that one particular year in 1999. And now the last question is about advice. What advice 
what I give to World Merit Youth to maximize your potential. So many good pieces of advice that I got. One for my mother, which was aim high, shoot high. So that means you can never be too ambitious. Always, always set your goals really high. So that's one, that's my personal one. Never be afraid to be ambitious. It's okay to strive to do things really well. The other thing is people get on in life and they can be mean and very difficult to work with. The people I love working with are very kind and very easy to work with. So I think attitude is a, is a big deal. And then the third thing I would say to maximize your potential is that you need to grow a network around you. I have a lot of friends who are broadcasters who work in the TV industry. You probably know some of their names and they are my support network. They're my family. They're my TV family. And we help each other and we support each other. And that is really important. If you see any successful group of professionals, they always have a network around them. And that's really important. So your colleagues, they should be your network, not necessarily your competitors. You work together, then you team up, and that really does work. So those are the pieces of advice that I can give you, and I wish you every success. Thanks for listening to me.